Whilst a Russian invasion is happening at this very moment in time, and potentially triggering off the biggest war in Europe since 1945, what can everybody do to prepare for such a major event? With Russia holding the largest nuclear arsenal on the entire planet, and with NATO getting caught up in such a conflict, then surely the safest place to be on planet Earth is going to be on a boat on an ocean. In this video, I list 10 reasons why this is the ideal time for everybody to be buying and living on a sailboat. Number one, since the advent of the COVID pandemic, the cost of fossil fuels has gone up in price exponentially across the planet. Unfortunately, it doesn't just stop there. The cost of heating one home has also gone up exponentially. That is why a sailboat suddenly becomes the best option. You see, at this moment in time, wind is currently free. This means you can travel on a sailboat for free. Well, for the time being anyway. So there is the first reason for buying a sailboat, as you can move and travel around for free. Therefore, unless you are super rich or mega multi-minty, the chances of you not being able to afford to run your car or heat your home are very high indeed. Now with Russia invading Ukraine, which is taking place at this very moment, then the cost of fossil fuels is going to go up even more. And already, just days into the Ukraine invasion, fuel garages are getting overwhelmed with panic buyers and fuel prices are going up rapidly. Not only will it be super expensive to buy fuel, but it will also probably end up being rarer than hen's teeth. Of course, the usual ruling elite will benefit from this because they will be making an amazing amount of money. Billions, in fact. So the best way to prepare for this is either to stockpile loads of petrol and diesel and heating fuel, or to take away the need to rely on fossil fuels altogether. Number two. The cost of food has also gone up in price exponentially since the COVID pandemic. The beauty of living on a sailboat on the ocean is that if you are hungry, all you have to do is fish over the side. That's fine if you like seafood, but like myself, if it makes you vomit, then that's one less mouth to feed and more for you all. Number three, water, water everywhere and not a drop to drink. Very true. However, it does rain sometimes, which means you can trap rainwater and keep yourself hydrated. You can also have something called a water maker, which is basically take seawater like a desalination plant and turns it into fresh water. Job done. Thank you very much. Number four. Should the country you are living in before you bought a sailboat become unstable, all you have to do is untie your mooring ropes and off you go to some other destination. Believe it or not, it is actually a lot easier to do this than to move your house. Number five. Rather than sitting indoors watching the Gogglebox television all day, and getting programmed by media about what is true and what is not true, and all this fake news nonsense, you can probably, for the first time in your life, drag yourself away from the idiot lantern and reap the benefits of having a real lifetime experience. So much so that you could probably even make your own videos, which are going to be a hundred times more interesting than keeping up with the Kardashians, or so-called celebrities you have probably never heard of, watching them eat slugs and learn to dance, or even being stuck on some island somewhere, which you wish they'd probably stay on anyway. Number six. It has been said that learning and creation are the human being's best traits. If you are not a painter, carpenter, electrician, mechanic, fiberglass fabricator, or a plumber, well, I can guarantee you that if you move onto a sailboat, or any other boat for that matter, you will become an each and every one of these in a matter of weeks. So have a career change and become multi-talented. Number seven. Hate your neighbours? No problem, as on a boat most of the time you won't have any anyway. In the unlikely event that you do have neighbours and you don't like them, you have the option to undo their mooring ropes and send them off adrift. Or you can leave yourself. Either way works out fine. Number eight. Living on a boat is cheaper than living in a house or a flat. People often say that boats are very expensive, but to be quite honest, 
so are houses, flats and apartments. Now boats are only really expensive if you pay other people to fix the boats for you. However, as you are now an expert, multi-talented in most skilled occupations, then you can fix the boat yourself for free. Whilst a mooring on a marina may initially sound expensive, I can tell you now it would be a lot cheaper than paying someone else's mortgage as you pay rent for a house, flat or apartment. And it will be a lot cheaper than paying a mortgage off to a fractional reserve banking institution who are charging you interest on your mortgage with money that did not exist in the first place. But that's another video for another time. Number nine. Living on a sailboat, you join an elite group of life forms that have survived previous calamities on planet Earth. We all know there's been some dodgy events happening on Earth in recent and ancient history, biblical floods, ice ages, mass extinctions, asteroids. So is it just a huge coincidence that most of the creatures, including some modern day dinosaurs, happen to survive these calamities because they lived in the ocean? Obviously, living on a boat is different from living underwater, but it still holds its appeal. Number 10. Most people go through life dreaming about owning and living on a boat. It is true that it's not the lifestyle for everybody. However, from my own experience, I've always found that it brings out the best in people, and I stand by that as a fact. So if you want something to bring out the best in you, I would suggest buying a sailboat and making it a big one too. And that concludes 10 good reasons why you should buy a sailboat.